Okay, my name is Yam Laksarat. I'm a uh, I am from Ethiopia, Environmental Protection Authority, but now uh, known as the Ministry of Environment and Forest. Uh, my profession or my position is Environmental Conservation Lead Expert. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, can you identify two or three entry points for developing an app in Ethiopia? For example, are there policy or institutional measures already in place that can facilitate the process? Okay, thank you for your question. Uh, concerning to the entry points for preparing or implementing, for formulating an app in uh, my country, uh, as you know, climate change is a global issue. So Ethiopia is also facing these challenges. So uh, adaptation mechanism or preparing or formulating adaptation is a dictate for Ethiopian survival. So luckily in Ethiopia, there is a high political uh, goodwilling towards the environment. I'd like to start from the constitution, article 44 in the constitution of federal democratic Ethiopia. It says or it states that every citizen has the right to live in a clean and polluted environment. Uh, this is one entry point. The other entry point is we have also environmental policy and at the same time the uh, existing enabling climate resilience green economy strategy. We have that one also. The other is we have regional and sectoral adaptation plans and the existing institutional arrangement also. That is EPA or the Minister of Environment and Forest Lead Agency and there is an uh, inter-ministerial uh, streaming committee under the office of uh, Prime Minister as a coordinating structure. All these are the interest points to formulating or preparing the NAPA in the country. So how could the adaptation measures be integrated into the ongoing development uh, planning in Ethiopia? Okay, we'll just go ahead. Um, so what capacity gaps do you see in Ethiopia in relation to adaptation planning, both at the individual and at the institutional level? Okay, concerning to the capacity gaps, there is a, uh, inadequately uh, trained expertise. That means there is a gap skills in uh, or for, for uh, risk or vulnerability assessment, for climate change scenario formulation, there is a gap in skills also in uh, downscaling climate models too. These are the skills gaps. Um, uh, how do you think uh, the NAP GSP could help with your national adaptation plans? Yes, definitely. As I mentioned earlier, we have a capacity uh, gaps, so maybe a NAP GSP can help or can support in Ethiopia uh, for developing capacity to formulate or to develop adaptation uh, investment plan yeah, during the preparation of adaptation investment plan by formulating benefit or cost analysis, by formulating benefit cost analysis, and at the same time to prepare financial strategies too. That means in general, uh, JSP or NAPA JSP can assist Ethiopia's technical and financial during the implementation or during the formulation of NAPA. Maybe uh, can we do that to this again because there was the yeah, noise. Is, is, yeah. is it possible to do it in the end? Yeah, of course. We can just cut uh, while okay. we don't like it. So, okay. Uh, how do you think the NAPA GSP can help uh, with your adapt national adaptation plans? Okay, concerning to the help from NAPA uh, GSP, NAPA GSP can support Ethiopia, especially for uh, in the capacity building or in developing capacity to prepare adaptation uh, investment plan by formulating benefit cost analysis and to prepare uh, financial strategies too. In general, uh, NAPA JCP can assist Ethiopia both technically and financially during the preparation of NAPA in Ethiopia. Do you have any success stories or uh, lessons learned to share or any specific challenge that you are facing uh, in uh, developing a map? Yeah, I think uh, the challenges related to the developing of NAP, as I already mentioned, there is uh, uh, capacity and at the same time financial assistance. So I'd like to remind here is that when the NAPA should be 
building on the existing structure and programs or strategies and at the same time NAPA should lead and owned by the government. And any success stories? Like, I don't know, for example, the coordination uh, or um, sharing uh, yeah, information? Yeah, I would like to mention about the successful story in Ethiopia. We have already developed the EPACC, the Ethiopian Program of Adaptation to Climate Change. So uh, 11 regions to city administration and nine regions have already developed their national adaptation plan and the sectoral also have already developed their own adaptation plan. This is, I think, one of successful tools related to NAPA preparation.